Well, it's a cold and rainy weekend out here in the shade tent. Temperatures are supposed to be a little bit warmer tomorrow, but today the max is 13 Celsius. So most of these plants probably won't have much of a problem with it, but I think that the bulbophyllums probably don't appreciate it a lot. The vanda doesn't appreciate it, I'm sure. Um, the cattleya may not appreciate it too much either, but everything else should be okay. And the little zygopetalum here, I'm not sure, but I think I heard it say that it really liked it. Definitely cool temperatures are going to keep that plant from having those ugly black spots that it's so famous for. I'm just glad that it's growing and I hope that it will continue to do so. Once it gets warmer I'll have to decide what to do with it, I'm not quite sure. Inside, you can see I brought my Bobophyllum echinolabium inside. I did not want it to uh, have to deal with the cold. Sure wish it would bloom. The brassia is still looking nice, but it is starting to drop flowers already. You can see this one here, the color's starting to bleed in it, so that flower won't be around much longer. But the good thing is that the second spike has started to push out quite a bit, and it looks like that will be blooming. It won't have nearly as many flowers on it. And then, of course, there are still two more spikes that have kind of stalled so we don't know if they're gonna actually bloom out or not but the potential is there down in the green room it's quite a bit warmer I kept several plants in here that either well, I've kept all my slipper orchids in there. Basically, I just don't have a place to put them outside right now. But I also want to kind of protect them against the swings in temperature until it's a little bit more stable. Some of the Cattleya seedlings are already starting to open up their newest uh, leaves. And, that, and since we're only in April, I'm wondering if this early start could possibly mean that they will put out another pseudobulb this year before before fall. So we will see. This is Mormodia Jumbo World down here. It's got its two new growths starting to almost grow into each other. That'll be interesting to see what happens when they are large enough to actually touch. And if you look down here you can see the roots starting to spread out into that sphagnum moss. I did moisten it last week but I haven't watered it since so it is crispy dry again and I'm not going to water it until the roots are quite a bit longer. Maybe twice what twice the length that they are currently. I want it to produce lots of roots before it gets watered. Seriously watered. Last week we had a look at this Phragmopedium with a rotting leaf on it and the rot has not stopped. Last, year, last week I thought that it had. You can see the border from where it was last week but it has spread past that so it's definitely going to take this whole leaf but I don't know it's gonna, if it's going to spread to the rest of the growth but I'm just going to let it do what it, what it wants to do 
and hopefully the newest growth won't uh, won't uh, catch it. Talked a little bit about my uh, multifloral paths last week, and. Uh, you know, I said that four of them looked promising for this year. Well, wouldn't you know, the next day after I said that, I spotted a spike on one of them. It started to push out. I am super excited about this. You see it back there? Let's zoom in for a closer look. There it is. And guess which one it is? This is Path Michael Kopovitz. This is not the one that bloomed a couple years ago. This is a new one that I got last July at Hauserman's Orchids in Chicago and wow I am so excited about this there it is so uh, this is going to be the first bloom for this plant it's a first bloom seedling I looked at the tag and the tag actually has an FV on it which I'm assuming means Fox Valley and they are uh, path breeders so um, the quality of this plant uh, could be really really nice I'm super excited about it Also, this is my problem path. This is one that I have been having issues with, but uh, I took it out of its pot and I refreshed some of the medium, and look what I found growing out the bottom of the plant. It had a new growth growing downward into the medium, so I've actually cleared out a lot of the medium around the, the top of the plant, and uh, in the past few days I've seen this uh, grow a little bit and it looks like it's starting to turn upwards towards the light so I don't know why it was growing down like that but it makes me happy to see that this plant is actually doing something alright guys well that's it for this week I'm William Green thanks for joining me on my green pets and we will see you next time